So this week I'm gonna ask, who does not like barbecue? Raise your hand. Ah, nobody. Patrick, Brad, nobody did. So good for you guys. I'm sure somebody is out there. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Door Dashing with the Dude. Today we've got a real good treat for you. It's called R&R Barbecue. These guys started in a food truck in 2010 and have slowly grown ever since. I think that they're in like Utah and there's uh, at least two locations here in Boise. Great food, they have a 4.5 star rating. I've had their grub before and I'm telling you what, their barbecue is great. And when you're getting bark like this, a smoke ring like that, I'm telling you, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. These guys don't skimp. I mean, seriously, I have gotten hush puppies and I got brisket, I got shredded brisket, and we've got sausage. I love their sausage. Got a little bite into it. I don't know what they put in it, but that's a little bite to it. For this episode, I went with their Carolina sauce, which most places Carolina sauce is kind of thick. These guys are not, so I'm just gonna dip a piece of my brisket into it. Mm. That's real Carolina sauce. If you're from Eastern North Carolina, that's the vinegar-based stuff, and that's rock. Mm. I love Eastern North Carolina barbecue sauce. What I like about this place too, it's just one of the few barbecue joints around that serve hush puppies. Now unfortunately, I did not see when I ordered on DoorDash the option to get honey butter, but I can make my own. That's exactly what I did. Super simple. And really good. Mm. Love it. All right. Before we get much further, we have our white Russian. Why, when do we not? And today, every once in a while, the dude just wants a beer. So I'm drinking Miller Lite. But the white Russian, damn tasty. All right. I'm going to try this last little piece of the cut brisket. I do have another one. It's awesome. Here's my philosophy on barbecue. And just meat in general. And that is, if you have to put any kind of sauce on it or seasoning to drown out the flavor, then you got yourself some bad meat or bad barbecue. And these guys don't disappoint. I just had their chopped up brisket, and damn, it's good. I'm gonna put a little bit into that Carolina barbecue sauce. Mm. Now, normally I would say Carolina barbecue sauce goes exceptionally well with pig, but it goes very well with beef as well. With sausage, dip it in. Two thumbs up. Five out of five white Russians. I love barbecue. Just absolutely love it. Whatever sauce you have should complement your food. And that's what I love about a good barbecue joint. They'll offer you the sauce. You don't need it. Mm -mm. R and R Barbecue. These guys know their stuff. They're just a, a, like I said, a little local joint. One of the things that I forgot to tell you is that for first responders, they do have a discount. Make sure to check that out. Uh, just seeing what else to know. What I got. These guys rock. And you know, you don't have to use Carolina barbecue sauce. Use KC or 
whatever barbecue sauce you want, but it's damn good finger food. And that's what barbecue to me is all about. Finger food, friends, BSing, and a drink. If you're in Salt Lake City area and the Boise area, definitely hit me up. Ask about these guys. We'll Google them. R and signed R barbecue, PBQ. Great. I'll leave a link below. Great. Great place. All right. This is the part that Patrick over at Patty Joe Cooking loves, and that is just me eating. Kind of BSing as we go along. Now switch gears. We did our review on our barbecue rocks, guys. Mm. I really wish I had a whole plate of hush puppies. I made hush puppies once. I used to have the Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville cookbook, and he had hush puppies in there. He had a good recipe. Mm. Love it. It was funny, somebody made a comment to me. I was at a grocery store and a guy recognized me and he goes, you know what's kind of funny? He goes, almost every one of your videos that I've seen, you have a white Russian. And sometimes it's just hanging out in the background. You think about it, you know you're right. I gotta make sure I'm doing that more. But with, I finally got confirmation that my bar was finally shipped. I ordered this thing on June 3rd. Ah! But it finally shipped today. Should be here Friday. Unfortunately, this weekend, I have prior commitments and I will be out of town, but you know what? I've waited this long. What's well, another weekend? So good. When it comes to hush puppies, and if you like the, the honey butter, do you like your honey butter, your hunter betty? Do you like your honey butter runny, like melted, fused together, or do you like it more solidified? Mrs. Dude likes her solidified. I like mine melted. I'm what, I could eat hush puppies all day. Now, unfortunately, Thomas Garvey, keto, keto cooking for diabetics, great channel. I'll leave a link up here. I think I got his channel name right. I'll leave his link up here. I don't have a way to make hush puppies that are, oh, hi, Zoe, that are keto. You say hi to everybody? girl has got to get her part. The last two days, I have taken her across the way to the common area and ran her butt off. Take that ball and chuck it for her. Border Collie's love out. Miss Noe, Zoe, Miss Noe. Honestly, I have not drank tonight. I just opened these. I can't talk. Miss Zoe loves all right, chasing a ball, just like most other dogs. Yep, go. Goodbye. Yep, go lay down. Good girl. Well, I don't know if you guys can see her there or not, but there she is. I really wish you guys were here, sitting right here next to me. Here in the Slacker's Lounge. The Slacker's Lounge is actually going to be where the bar is at. Slacker's Lounge is normally over there. It'll be back there. I'm thinking the dogs want the barbecue. I don't blame them.
All right, guys. Well, I'm going to be here forever eating this. I don't know about you, but I don't like sitting there watching somebody ramble on or just eating for 20, 30 minutes. That's what this is going to be. So we'll call it good now. Next week is the breakfast special. And then I think we're done with the DoorDash series. We'll go back and reevaluate it, see how people liked it. See if it's worth carrying on, maybe as a sideshow. Mmm, that was good, honey. I get back to cooking as soon as that bar's in. All right. Peace. I love you guys. Hang loose, and we will see you on the next episode. Make sure you drink a white Russian. Ah, that's good.